The genome of a normal human cell consists of 23 pairs of chromosomes, in other words, 46 chromosomes in total. By means of light microscopy, chromosomes can be observed during the metaphase of a mitosis. The chromosomes of a cell can be arranged in a numbered sequence according to size and presented in what is called a karyogram. Here you see a normal karyogram of a woman with two X chromosomes. The cells of many tumors show abnormal chromosomes. Frequent chromosomal abnormalities include alterations in number, size, and structure. This karyogram of a leukemic cell from a male patient displays several abnormalities. The red circles here denote loss of chromosomes, additional chromosomes, such as the chromosome MAR, which stands for marker chromosome, and translocations, although a connection between chromosomal aberrations and cancer had been made in the early 20th century, it was decades before anyone could explain it exactly. In 1960, cancer researchers Peter Noel and David Hungerford were analyzing karyograms at a Philadelphia hospital when they detected an abnormally small chromosome 22 and a large chromosome 9 in blood cells from patients with chronic myeloic leukemia, CML. What came to be called the Philadelphia chromosome, which is found in more than 90% of all CML patients, was the first genetic mutation directly linked to human cancer to be pinpointed and defined. Its discovery launched a new chapter in cancer research. Even more important, it was the first step towards the exact diagnosis of leukemia and towards new, effective cancer treatment strategies.